So the team at Diagnose Dan reached out to us. Hi guys, Diagnose Dan here. And asked us if we would have a look at their new service, Diagnose Dan TSB. And that stands for Technical Support Base. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go and check out the Diagnose Dan channel. There's some awesome automotive diagnosis case studies with some good opportunities for learning as well. So from what I can tell, the Diagnose Dan TSB service is aimed at independent workshops who lack that technical support that you might find in a main dealer. And from my experience of working in the dealerships, this support is just invaluable, especially the rate that technology is moving on. So let's have a look at what's inside. So here on the login screen, you can go to ddtsb.com and actually try out the demo mode. And you can have a look at the limited features that you get inside the DDTSB service. So I've got the full service, so let's have a look at what you get. So this is the main home page. Um, you can put your registration number in there to search for a car, or you can do a manual search. So let's go ahead and put my registration number in there. And there we are, we've picked up my car, the BMW 3 Series 320 diesel. We've got the chassis number on there, first date of registration, a few of the basic details of the car, the engine code and some weights as well. Quite a useful one at the bottom there is whether the car was imported or not. So just a bit of information on the bulletins themselves and how the manufacturers make them and how the dealerships use them. So. Basically, the manufacturers have a big pool of data on all the vehicles that are out on the road, so the problems that are happening. And they can get this from the warranty information, they can get it from the technical support desk, and they can also get it from, for example, return to workshop problems, which are probably the mo most important ones when the technicians try to fix the car, but they haven't fixed it correctly and the customers come back. So what the manufacturers do is they look for uh, trends really in that data and if they can see a problem happening you know, multiple times in you know, various areas around the globe, they might put out a bulletin for the technicians to see to help fix that properly first time. Now you'd be surprised on how expensive it is to actually create these bulletins inside the manufacturer. If you think they need an engineer to actually go and come up with a, a fix. They need to get the analytics people to find the trends in the data. They need technicians to actually verify that the bulletin works and, and it can be done and the times are correct. And then they've also got to translate that information as well. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if each bulletin a manufacturer created cost, you know, over a thousand pounds. But the reason they do this is there's a massive return on investment on that for them. So if you think that a thousand vehicles get incorrectly diagnosed and each repair costs the you know, manufacturer around £300, that's £300,000 for an incorrect repair. So if they've just got to spend you know, a few thousand pounds on creating a bulletin to send out that might fix the car for £50, there's massive savings to be had. The other benefit for them is, is it keeps technicians happy and keeps their kind of staff retention levels up because if cars are too hard to fix, the technician's just gonna move on to the next dealer. And ultimately it keeps customers happy. So they can come in, their cars gets fixed first time, it gets fixed quickly, and they're more likely to come back again and buy another car in the future. So to have this kind of level of service available for your independent workshop is invaluable. Now you can get access to specific manufacturer bulletins via their own uh, subscription sites. However, to keep on top of all of them, you would have to have a lot of subscriptions. The benefit for the Diagnosed Dan TSB service is you've got, I think around 20 technical experts and product specific experts on hand. And they also have access to all the manufacturer data. So what they can do is take these problems have a look at the best fix from their own technical experience, from their own product experience, and from what the manufacturers are doing, and then create a bulletin that creates the ultimate fix. Okay, so the first tab we've got here is the bulletins tab. So this is the main feature of the Diagnosed Dan TSB service. And what you can do is either type in a symptom that you're searching for, you can enter a category that you're looking for. So in here we've got ADAS, aircon, engine, fuel system, all the features on the cars basically, or you can search for a symptom. So for example, AdBlue system faulty, 
or maybe there's a engine will not start, quite a common one there. So let's have a look inside here. Let's go into electrical system and see what's there. Hit search and you can see now that we get presented with a whole list of different things that you can possibly check. So let's take a look inside one of these bulletins. Let's choose this one here. Engine will not start, various electrical faults, power steering not working. So quite a few problems there. If we have a look at the document, we've got the symptom there at the top and then possible solutions. So this seems like it's a problem with the keyless entry system. So of course your car would have to have keyless entry for this bulletin to be applicable. And it seems there could be like fuse issues for you to check. We've got some pictures in there, a picture of the fault, and also some thermal imaging pictures here to just show you what, what happens when the system is faulty. What we've also got, which is really good, is a link to a Diagnose Dan video where he shows you diagnosing that particular fault. Hi guys, Diagnose Dan here, and today we're working on an 08 BMW 3 Series. Okay, so we've also got the symptoms there. Let's have a look at what we've got. Maybe something like uh, locking system faulty. We can see there we've got two bulletins there. There's also a popularity option. So how often that bulletin gets a, a click, which might give you an idea of as, as what is, which fault's most likely. That will be really helpful if you've got a big list of bulletins there and you're not quite sure which one to start with. So. We have a look at this one here and this is a bit of information on how to open the doors if you've got a faulty central locking system so i know from my personal experience in the dealer that there was an issue on these vehicles where the fuse for the uh, central locking would blow and you wouldn't be able to open the door you wouldn't be able to unlock it um, it was stuck in a deadlock state we've got the symptom there at the top and then possible solutions so here we've got some information there to remove the door lining and then get a long screwdriver through the hole there into uh, unlatch the door. So that's really good information. So on the search system here, you could search for uh, symptoms or keywords, but you can also search for fault codes, which is really, really helpful. So I pulled a few fault codes off my car outside. Let's put them in and see if we get anything. So before you go and put your search term in, make sure you reset the search bar first. Just hit the reset there. Then we can put our fault code in and we've got A6CF and there we go, we've got a bulletin for that. So this is a recirculation, is not automatically activated. So I know what the fault on this is, it's the air recirculation uh, sensor, so the air quality sensor just under the bonnet. And in here we've got some information on uh, what the problem might be for that particular fault. Again. It is not a silver bullet, so all I've done on this sensor is disconnected it. Of course, this bulletin is going on to tell you about um, a problem with the humidity sensor, which is likely on the same line. Just be careful when you use the bulletins. Okay, next tab along, we've got this fault code section here. So uh, I have got some more fault codes we can try. Let's have a look at 93C1. Okay, so that gives us a bit of information on the fault code itself. Um, and we've actually also got some uh, bulletins for this one as well, which is really handy. So airbag indicator on BMW. It was showing a file there for Mini as well. So if we go into this document, and there we've got some information on how to fix various um, airbag faults there and it's given us some information on how to check what the possible problems could be. So really useful. Okay, so moving on to the next part of this service is the hotline feature, and this is the one that can really get you out of trouble. So with the hotline feature, what you can do is uh, raise your own technical support tickets with the Diagnosed and TSB technical experts and what they will do is they will search for all the bulletins that they've already got and if there's a bulletin that already relates to the problem you're asking about uh, you won't get charged for it. And you do get two free tickets with the service when you uh, sign up for a subscription which is pretty good and then I think uh, further tickets are around 15, 20 euros so you know if you think of you might use it like once or twice a month it's, it's almost like having your own expert master technician inside the workshop 
really, really valuable to have. So what we want to do to use this feature then is hit new case, um, select the type of issue you're having. So we want car technical issues. We then want to select the category. So it might be a gearbox issue. And then what you can do is also attach files. So you might have a diagnostic report or you might have some pictures. In this section here, this is where you want to fill in the information that you've already done. Having known quite a few technical support staff and worked with lots of technical support staff, it's really important to put as much information as you can in this field. So what diagnosis have you already performed and what results have you got? And this way they'll be able to give you the best possible help. You can also request to be notified by SMS, a text message, and also be notified by email. So awesome features there. So if we go over to these tabs here, it looks like we've got some measurement methods and education, and we've got content on this section coming soon. So looking forward to seeing what comes in there. So I'm gonna catch up with a few of my garage friends and uh, see how we get on with this bulletin system. And I'll report back soon, see how we uh, get on. And personally, if, if I had my own garage independent, I would definitely be signing up for this. Um, having known how valuable the bulletin features and the technical support can be from working in the main dealers, I know that this would definitely help you, especially if you're working on a lot of diagnosis. It's really difficult to keep up with how all the systems on all the cars work, especially with the way things are going now. So go and check it out, get on the demo mode and see what you think.